Miss Salsa Fadila. Today we are going to talk about my top 10 Sundanese traditional cuisine. First of all, as one of Indonesia popular destination, particularly in Java Island, Bandung is well known for its diverse culinary experience with the simplest cuisine made in only a few ingredients. You will enjoy the most delightful taste. The Sundanese traditional food were very diverse, either heavy or light meal. Sundanese food have determined a simple material with the term Sundanese, namely dadakan. But although the presentation was very Sudan, it doesn't lose the taste of food with a food which is cooked with different material spice too. Compared to other typical Indonesian delicacies, fresh soreness, mild sweetness, saltiness, and great spiciness, divine Sundanese cuisine. Now, let's check out my top 10 Sundanese foods. First, Nasi Timbal. Nasi Timbal is such a perfect presentation of Sundanese cuisine that it provides the most full elements ranging from raw veggies to terasi sauce. Nevertheless, the highlight is essentially the local rice packed into banana leaves and steamed. Second, mie kocok. This street food from Bandung is processed in such a way that the noodles are soft. And the dish has been given a variety of vegetables, such as toge and an extra topping like a very soft cow meat that has been boiled and add some sauce to enhance the taste. At the other hand, the reason it's called mikochok is that the noodles are eaten by stirring and shaking it up first before eating so that the taste can come from various spice and blend them all together. Third, patagor. Batagor stands for baso tahu goreng, meaning tofu and fried bakso or meatball. The bakso is made of fish, starch, spring onion, salt, and pepper. Within the tofu, it is filled in, deep fried in crisps and cut into small bites. The final step is to drizzle the fritters with a delicious peanut sauce, sweet soy sauce, and lime juice. Just add some sambal sauce if you want anything spicy. Fourth, Soto Bandung. Soto Bandung is common in West Java Bandung. A soup made from beef and almost similar to other forms of soup, but the difference is the inclusion of radishes, tomatoes, and fried soy in it, and usually served with rice and crackers. Fifth, Lotek. Lotek is almost the same as special as in other cities. Namely, the food is sprinkled with chili seasoning in the form of fresh vegetable stew, mixed with peanut spice and combined it with some crackers. In the meantime, Lotek gives the watery taste you can't find in other foods. The variation of taste can be traced to the ingredients of its sauce with mixed almonds, tempeh, garlic, and other spice. This food is usually called lotek since it is more sweet than pechal. Moreover, if you have mixed the chili sauce before, then it will taste even more delicious. 6. Surabi. Typical Surabi Bandung is made from flour, which is very similar to pancakes. The difference is that burning it on the stove makes Surabi. And the dough is very thick. The equipment used to produce this snack was a simple device, for example, with a clay mold furnace. This method makes for tasty and mold watery food from Surabi. In addition, many other cities also have their own flavor of Surabi, but 
The basic flavor remained the same because the coconut milk element mixed in the ingredients. Seventh, cireng. Cireng stand for aci digoreng. It is very easy to make this trochidis. The tapioca flour and the wheat flour are mixed with water, salt, pepper, soy powder, and spring onion. The dough is broken down into small pieces, shaped into various shapes, and fried. This food in the hot sauce gets nice dipping. 8. Chal enak. Chal enak stands for Dijajal Enak. It's a kind of sweet delight that is simply grilled with tape or cassava fermented. It is often called boyum. By the locals, it is normally dipped in sauce with, with palm sugar and filled with rabbit coconut. Many variants include chick fruit and durian. Tenth, Bayam. Bayam is one of Bandung's special food that is mostly bought or souvenir gifts by visitors. That makes this food unique is that Bayam is a tape like food. But the difference is that Bayam is much drier because of very different methods of producing it. So that's my top 10 Sundanese traditional cuisine. Thanks for watching this video.